all around me, I see people screaming out for help. Much like when Dad was pulling off his belt. Life seems hard, but I'm playing the hand I was dealt. All around me, bad vibes have felt. Young boys sag while wearing a belt. I'm from where the hallways are pissy, and there's a little fast girl named Missy. Everybody got a plan, but nobody want to unify. Got everything to say when another young black dies. I can feel the pain when I see it in a mother's eyes. The truth is, we're getting caught up with what's between the woman's thighs. This ain't nothing new. I'm sure it's coming to no surprise. Some poets come spitting truth while others are stacking lies. Mm. You fake dudes be talking about word to the wise. Many claim to be, con be conscious instead of peace as a greeting and still using hi. I'm not a man of many words. I believe in getting, in getting to the facts. Each one teach one. Now what happened to that? You knew the pain was coming. I'm making sure each verse of my words are felt. I flow so the wise know, instrumental or acapella. Use peace as a greeting shows how my life rolls. Father daughter times keep my babies off the pole. If education is the key, I want to be a locksmith. Keep my head straight, got no time for the piss. I chef it up in the kitchen, veggies on a plate, wisdom seldom thought of, I make my point to mention. The truth and the lie. One leads to life, the other causes you to die. 85% ask the 5% why. 10% living off the rest and causing suicides. Blood on blood in my city where someone, someone always dies. I'm trying to make it and get a piece of the pie. Priest in the back room, little boys are being used. The knowledge of God is always abused. Corners are filled with churches and liquor stores. It's no wonder the ghettos are poor. No respect for our women, busy calling them whores. We ain't waiting for opportunity. They don't knock on our doors. It's a sad reality. The playgrounds are no place for our children to be. If the black man is truly God, then we got to make change. Too many mothers forced to live their lives going through relationships just to maintain. Look at the choices they face. The truth or go insane. A man who's busy in raising a nation or a boy who plays a man stuck in the streets trying to play the game. Wow. The reality of things. This is called Tales from a Broken Home. I often felt like I was all alone, writing letters to my mom because she was always on the phone. My little brother always told everything I did. Older sister doing blow in the living room wasn't something she hid. Eight months after I was born, my pops had another kid. My aunt was dragging me to church, and my uncle taking me to the masjid. Caught between two religions before I knew, my, knew who I was. At 12, I was selling weed with my little cousin. I was 11 when I got my first buzz. At 16, I shot myself in the finger cleaning my first gun. Mm. Shootouts in the section because I wasn't one to run. That night, bottoms up was the place to be. I had to be tough. I had two fine sisters with me. When I get home, mom's sitting in the kitchen. She found my stash. I knew you were selling weed, but now, now crack, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> I came back with, how you going to be mad at me because I work less hours and make more money than you? <coughs> I, I didn't need that ish. I wasn't in the mood. So I called me a cab and went to Prince Chicken and cop some food. I didn't need her or my so-called family. The streets is where it's at. I made the mistake of putting my back to the door while I was eating my chicken. Three in the morning, dude outside taking an ass with him. I didn't see the ratchet coming from the kitchen. Two shots fired. One shot hit me in the chest, the other in the dome. Now I'm six feet under, wishing I was home. Mm. Woo! Yeah. This is change part two. The storm is coming. The storm is coming. Everybody seems to be yelling. All this while urban cities 
are already living in hell. People fear destruction from the weather, but not from my own selves. As long as the inner city is where the chaos dwells. The whole country came together when it came to 9-11, and there still is so much concern. But who's standing up with the, with the ghettos? I mean, but who's standing up when the ghettos are being burned? Our youth are dying, our youth are dying, are the screams from my neighborhood. Outsiders see it as we're killing ourselves, but 90% of the people are all good. We work for a living, and we seek our piece of the pie. But on the way from work, a 50-year-old woman could die. Not from a heart attack, but a bullet to the head. Who wants to tell her husband and, their, and the family that their mother is now dead. Drugs has some blame, but the 90% has some too. Taking back our cities is up to citizens to do. It doesn't take someone to fall from the sky. We just need to open our eyes. In our unity, we can win the prize. Heaven on earth when we stop our demise. I love my neighborhood. No, pardon me. I love my neighbor as myself. I love my neighbor as myself needs to be our cry. Change, part two. This one is called Her. <laughs> some relationships, I'm sure we've all gone through some relationships, and, you know, had some ins and outs. And we all remember that first time we saw her or him. When I first saw Shorty, I knew we'd be rolling together. Her hind parts was all wrapped in leather. Blue and white was the color she sported. Our first date, I took her down to the port. Everywhere we go, people were always compliment complimenting her right in front of me. That gets me excited because it's not her, but us they see. Together, we're a perfect fit. I'm proud because the way I scooped her up was all legit. The loves my boys roll with are all black. Mine's is the only white. It don't matter to me. If somebody tried to take her, I'm putting up a fight. Not to say that I'm selfish or afraid, but when I leave her alone, I'm locking her up. Sometimes we go at it so long, I feel it in my gut. It's a deep relationship because she don't ride me. I ride her. Before you say this fool's all in love, you should know I'll, I'll always use two gloves. Yeah, me and her is complicated. I admit in the beginning I was a little faded. What I forgot to mention is that my wife knows all about her. I moved shorty in. My wife would get it. I had no reason to doubt her. Soon I was spending more time with her than my wife. Now she's becoming the center of our fights where there had been no fights before. Now my queen is calling Shorty all types of whores. Jealous because Shorty is known for making me sweat. Riding hard and long times she used to get. I call her my freak because we mostly do our thing in the street. <laughs> One time I went home with freaks and cuts all on my elbow. Now I'm getting ultimatums like one of us got to go. I'm trying to free my mind. I dropped Shorty in a love letter. Now I'm twisted, carrying Eight by ten of her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>